fellow members and guests, what is the right mentality to do your job? I would like to give you my theory tonight, but before that, let me uh, tell you about the story of four young English guys from Liverpool. It's 1960, these four young guys, they formed their band, but are uh, because of the economic difficulties at that time, they find it difficult to find work. So their manager at that time is called booking agent, Alan Williams, comes up to them and says, Hey guys, I've got good news for you. I found you a job in Germany. It's in Hamburg. But there are some constraints to this job. <coughs> you will have to work extremely long hours. You will have to work in São Paulo, which is the dark and uh, the dodgy side of Hamburg. These days it's actually a very nice part of Hamburg. And there is drug star, there is prostitution, and it's not actually a nice job, but you'll get paid, and the pay is better than it is in England. But Ellen, what about our parents, they said. I will speak to them. So Ellen spoke to their parents and got permission from them. In 1960, they moved to Hamburg and they worked continuous hours in these nightclubs. Actually, the nightclubs is striptease clubs. And it's not same as normal music bands, you know. It's not just one night you go out for one or two hours. It starts from 8 and then 4 in the morning until the crowd is uh, leaving the club. And it's not a usual crowd. It's a very nasty crowd and if they don't like your music, they will throw bottles at you, beer bottles, or they boo you. But between 1960 and 1962, these young Englishmen, they work extensively there. They built good experience, and they moved back to Liverpool. In 1964, they made their first album, and then, boom! The result is their popularity skyrocketed. The world, the music world, absolutely loved them. They actually become the most selling band of all times. The guys that I'm talking about are Paul McCartney, John Lennon, Ringo Starr, and George Harrison. It's the Beatles. If you know Beatles, the critics give a lot of their reputation, success to their Hamburg times, due to those very long hours. Let me give it to you with numbers as well. In between 1960 and 1964, when they make their first album, <coughs> They are on stage in approximately about 1,200 times, which is actually more than uh, what most bands achieve in their career. So, understandably, their success is due to their very hard work. They are extremely ready, ready when they are on stage and people love their energy because they have not seen a band like this. They are you know, so good at stage. Their synergy is good with each other because obviously they've been together for so many long hours and it's just really skyrockets from there. I wanted to give you the story of Beatles because I want to, you know, uh, support it my, with my theory, theory about it. But let me also tell you, when I was in London, I lived actually two years in St. John's Wood, which is, um, I lived in Hall Road, which is just off Abbey Road. Abbey Road is the famous Beatles studio, but at that time I didn't know about this story, and I didn't really tell anyone, but I think if I knew, I would have told everyone about it, because I was, you know, so impressed, and it's very inspirational, I find. So, Coming to the, you know, the uh, what is the right mentality to do our job part. Obviously, Beatles 
wanted to be musicians, but they had to make a living as well. So they took the very hard conditions to work in Hamburg. So one of the main factors, we have to make a living. That's the main factor about taking a job, at least for most of us. Again, we have to like our job. Otherwise, it's going to be very difficult to handle all the stress or all the difficulties. And most of us want, you know, success in life. But for success, it's also to do with luck. In Beatles' case, it's not uh, easy to say that they would be Beatles today if they didn't go to Hamburg. You know, there is coincidence, and if they never met that booking agent, they would have maybe never gone to Hamburg. They are only one of the two groups that worked in Hamburg in that time. So there is also luck effect. So in conclusion, I want to uh, tell you this famous quote about uh, from Seneca, which is a Roman philosopher. He says, luck happens when preparation meets opportunity. Mr. Tosvassa.